Okay, guys, this is how you make caramel apple bites, guys. These are so, so delicious. First things first, we're gonna warm up our caramel with our heat gun, and we're gonna place it right on top of our pretzel, just like that, and we're gonna keep on going. So if you're wondering, my oven is not working at the moment, so I'm using the heat gun. The heat gun works fantastic. Uh, I honestly prefer it because I have so much more control of everything. So if you have a heat gun, I recommend using it. Okay. Then you're gonna go ahead and do this to the rest of your caramels and pretzels. You can make 16 or more or less like I did. Okay guys, now it's time to go ahead and get our apples. We're gonna go ahead and cut right into our apples just like this. Perfect. Awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and cut it into about three different pieces just like this. We want it to be a little bit of a large pieces because they're gonna go right on top and per personally, I love when it's like a nice big piece of green apple or a red apple on top. I think it blends very well with the caramel and the chocolate and the pretzel. There we go. Perfect, so we have our green apple. We're also gonna grab our red apple, okay guys? I think red apple goes very, very good with this as well. So we're gonna use it too, okay? There we go, perfect. Fantastic, okay. We're gonna go ahead and we'll toss this one. We don't really need that one. Left a little bruised. And we're gonna go ahead and cut, cut, cut. Cut down this way, perfect. Fantastic. And last but not least, this way as well. Perfect, guys, check that out. Great. Okay, guys, we have our apples nice and ready. We're gonna go ahead and get our caramel warmed up first now. Okay, guys, grab your heat gun, turn it all the way up, and we're gonna warm all the caramel back up. So go right over your caramel just like this. Perfect. We wanna get it nice and warm and nice and soft so we can go ahead and press our Rolos right into it, okay? There we go. As you can see, it's getting nice and bubbly and that's exactly what you want, okay? So go right over it, just like this, nice and close. Perfect. I wanna do it to all of them, guys. If the parchment paper gets a little toasty, that's very normal. So there we go. And as you can see, this heat gun allows me to have so much more control. So, you know, no oven, no problem. Alrighty. Great, so these are all warmed up. We're gonna grab our Rolos now, and we're gonna put it right on top of each caramel and press down just like that. And you'll see it go right into the caramel and the caramel will actually kind of form around it. And that's exactly what you want. You wanna kind of flatten the caramel or else it would just be way too thick, okay? There we go. And I am using my fingers this time, as you can tell, because the tongs just do not really work well right here. You have to press down and you can't really press down with tongs, okay? So go ahead, use your fingers here. Don't worry, nothing's crazy hot. You're not gonna burn your fingers. There we go. Fantastic, check that out, guys. Alrighty, we're on our last little row. Okay. Perfect, and that is it guys. So for that, that is done. Now our next step, grab the heat gun again and we're gonna warm up the Rolo now. We wanna get this Rolo nice and warm because on top of it is gonna be the apple, okay? There we go, nice and warmed up. I put the heat gun right on top. And if you see the chocolate or the caramel kinda get a little black, that's okay. It's getting slightly burned, but it actually has a really nice toasty flavor. So that's totally okay. You can go ahead and toast it even further if you like the flavor of it. There we go. Perfect. I am so excited to show you guys the final 
product. As you can tell, it already looks fantastic and it's only gonna get better from here. Alrighty, these are nice and warmed up. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our green apple. Go ahead, put it right on top and press down and that's exactly how it's gonna look. Now we're gonna grab our red apple and we're just gonna kind of alternate so we can get a little bit of both apples. Perfect. There we go. And guys, the green apples are commonly used, but trust me, these red apples are just as delicious. I sometimes prefer it actually over the green apple. So if you try the red apple, let me know what you think. If you're a huge green apple fan, you know, just stick with what you know. But if you want to try something new, you can go ahead and do this. All right. As you can see, guys, the chocolate is perfectly warmed up. So the apples are going in super, super easy. And that's exactly what you want. All righty. We have the last red apple. These look fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and plate them now. These are all done, guys. Look at how beautiful they look when they're plated. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what one looks like. Check that out. It is so, so beautiful. The perfect amount of everything. If you guys try it, let me know what you think or if you do anything different.